All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings be unto the hopeful elect. Pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. In the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. All right. This is the brother Yakanan from the GMS England branch. And um, as you can see here, I have this video reporting on, you know, Elon Musk Neuralink. And um, them putting, you know, the first brain chip, you know, in a human. All right. And this news is um, viral, you know, right now. And there's not, you know, a news site outlet, you know, that you can go on right now without seeing at least a mention or report, you know, of this uh, of this news. All right. Which is very uh, telling in regards to the time that we are in right now. All right. And this is a beautiful thing. <clears throat> now. I was watching uh, videos earlier on today from, you know, the apostles, elders, you know, Archeum, you know, so on and so forth in relation, you know, to this uh, news. Because, you know, you know, us at Great Millstone, you know, we're always making videos concerning the mark of the beast, all right, the Revelation 13 and 16, all right? And of course, our affiliates. And if you're not pushing this prophecy, if you're not teaching, you know, this prophecy and warning, you know, the people in regards to the MOTB, then you're simply, all right, a false prophet. All right. You're simply not doing what you're supposed to be doing if you are, you know, trying to embody, you know, the role of a prophet of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, because this is a very, very important prophecy that's getting ready to come to pass in these last days, all right? And to not speak about it or to not understand or know, you know, what it is simply means that Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai is not dealing with you, all right? And the spirit is not on you, okay? Because this is a very, very important prophecy. And it's one of the last prophecies that's going to manifest on the earth before the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right? So if you're tired, you know, of watching our videos, all right, here at Great Millstone, because we constantly push the MOTB and we constantly... um teach and warn you know concerning this uh, device then simply just don't watch our videos all right because through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai we're, we're going to continue to push this and warn in regards to this um device Lord willing you know until it manifests upon the earth on a mandatory level all right because this is our job all right this is our reasonable service is to, um, you know, push and notify you of this very important prophecy, all right? And as it says, let me get it right quick, <clears throat> and we'll get straight to the point. In um, Ezekiel 33, and verse 33, And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet have been among them, all right? Now, again, beginning with Elder Apostle Taha on down, all right, we've been telling you and warning you into in regards to this technology, all right? And we've been warning you that the wicked elites on the left-hand side are going to introduce this to the world and very soon are going to make it mandatory upon the face of the earth. And as it tells us in Revelation 13 and 16, 
you are not going to be able to buy or sell, all right? You're not going to be able to trade without this technology, okay? So the stage is being set for this technology, all right, to dominate and to overthrow the world. And people are going to have to start making decisions on what they're going to do, okay? If they're going to take it or if they're not going to take it. And that's the hour of temptation, man, all right? And let's get that right quick before I play the video, all right? This is Revelation chapter 3 and uh, verse 10. And it reads, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Okay, so this time of temptation is coming. All right, this time of you having to make a decision upon where you stand is coming. All right, and I'm speaking to you Israelites out there. Okay, you are going to have to make a decision very soon as to whether you're going to take within yourself this mark, all right, which is a physical thing, all right, it's not sin, okay, or whether you're going to reject the mark and trust in Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, all right, and by default, a lot of you leaders out there of these congregations, all right, you're going to have some uh, questions coming your way all right the more and more this becomes um manifested all right upon the earth all right and people are already <laughs> people are already asking questions all right people are already seeking explanation as to why this keeps popping up okay but you better take heed all right onto the spirit and you better leave these congregations that are not teaching of the MOTB and are not teaching the truth in general, okay? So let me go to this video right quick. But how does the technology work? Let me take you through what we know so far. A computer chip and other electronics will be inserted into the brain. This is the link in Neuralink. It's reportedly about the size of a few coins. The chip will be battery operated. It can be charged wirelessly, so no need to worry about replacing it, which would be hard anyway because it will be inserted directly into the brain. So replacement would be a problem. And this insertion will happen by a special surgical robot. They will put this chip into your brain. Yes, a robot, not a trained neurosurgeon. This is because of because one part of the link has wires directly hooked up to your brain. It is so intricate. Apparently, it cannot be done by humans. So you need a robot to do it. These wires... And the reason why, you know, this uh, technology, you know, is so invasive, all right, is because, you know, as the scriptures tell us, you know, this man, all right, Esau, Edom, thinks of himself, you know, to be the most high, to be, you know, the power, all right, that he wants all people upon the earth to worship okay that's why this technology is so invasive that's why this technology you know quantifies everything about you okay now as the scriptures tell us um you know man's goings are of the lord how can a man understand his own way all right but you know what the wicked the elites of Esau Edom all right they're trying to do that on the left hand side all right they want your goings you know to be of them they want to control what you do, what you think, what you feel, what you're allowed to feel, what you're allowed to think, what you're allowed to do. They want to embody the most high. Okay, they want to have control over everything. Okay, this is all about control. Your threads monitor your brain activity. They will read your thoughts and pass them onto the chip. The chip will then send a signal to an app on your phone or computer. That is how the setup works. It may right, so they, they will have they will have um, live informational updates concerning what you're thinking, what you're feeling, where you are, what you spent money on, your carbon footprint. All right, what you're thinking about doing, your plans for the future. 
Okay, if you have a rebellious mind that will come upon the system, okay? If you have a slave mentality that will come upon the system, all right? Everything is going to be quantified and documented on that on that uh, CHIP and going to feed back to their database, okay? And they can control, you know, chemical levels in your body. They can control your emotions. This technology goes deep, all right? And let me get that right quick. In um, what's that? Psalms sixty-four. All right, his mind is deep. All right, because a hey, decades of research has um gone into manufacturing and um you know developing the end product that is going to be you know the MOTB. All right, this didn't this you know happen overnight. You know, this was a process. And more importantly, this is, you know, biblical prophecy coming to pass. All right. Now, this is Psalm 64 and verse 2. And it says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked, from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. All right. So we're dealing with, you know, the secret counsel of the wicked. All right. The rulers that rule in secrecy, you know, upon the earth. Okay. The elites on the left-hand side, all right? The Illuminati, okay? The Rothschilds, all right? Being at the top of the, po the totem pole, all right? Now, let me skip down. Let me get to the point. Verse 5, they encourage themselves in an evil matter. They commune of laying snares privily. They say, who shall see them? They search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. Okay? And in uh, in the NLT it says, as they plot their crimes, they say we have devised the perfect plan. Okay? Yes, the human heart and mind are cunning. Okay? So this is a, a high level, alright? Deep work that the, the Edomites or well, the elites of Esau Edom you know have accomplished upon the earth all right but it's been facilitated through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai all right so we give we we give credit you know to the Lord okay because this is really you know the Lord's divine plan it's Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai that's creating that separation you know upon the earth that's you know dividing things upon the earth man Okay, the dividing line is being manifested by the Lord. That's why, you know, um, Elder Apostle Ha, you know, has said from time to time, this is really the Lord's chip. Okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is using this device upon the earth, man. Because ultimately, you know, the wicked, you know, Esau, Edom, you know, he's going to be uh, cast down when he's about to fill his belly, as it tells us in the book of Job. All right, so the Lord is using this devil to accomplish prophecy that must be fulfilled. All right, the necessary evils. Sound complicated, but it's not exactly revolutionary. The first device like this came out all the way back in 2004. There are other companies that have been doing this, working on the brain computer interface for years to get your brain to talk directly to a computer and get machines moving. Older devices let people control a robotic limb with their mind. So it has been done before. Then what makes Neuralink special? The sheer volume of brain signals. Yeah, the scriptures uh, talk about, you know, these are the spirits of devils, you know, working miracles upon the earth. All right. You know, that's the miracles on the left hand side. Which, by the way, you know, are not comparable to the miracles on the right hand side. All right. But nonetheless, you know, they will still woe, you know, the minds of the people in this world. OK, because they don't know or understand, you know, the true magnitude and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. That it wants to capture. That is what's special. The other brain chips that exist are slower. They may not allow for what Elon Musk wants to do. Because helping people without limbs is just the beginning. He eventually wants an advanced brain-computer interface. 
Imagine driving a smart car with just your thoughts or playing video games with your mind or accessing all the information on the internet through your brain. And that's the miracles, all right? That's the miracles that this devil has to offer, you know, the people of this world, all right? But we're seeking eternal life and new bodies through Yahweh Shai, all right? Which is something that Esau cannot grant, okay? Esau cannot grant eternal life. Even through technology, this man cannot grant eternal life, all right? The blessings on the left-hand side do not compare or meet up to the blessings on the right hand side that Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai has reserved for his elect. All right. <clears throat> so with that, you know, Lord willing, this uh, lesson has been edifying. You know, this is beautiful news, and we are indeed, you know, one step closer to the mandatory implementation of the MOTB, the Revelation thirteen and sixteen. Shalom.